Lights out at Zandvoort for race three for Formula Three and immediately chopping across goes Helga. Schumacher responds and interrupts the momentum of Martins and it's going to give the lead then, maintaining the lead to Helga. And you can see Schumacher's got a good drive off the corner. The top three as they were, the top four as they were as they make their way through. So let's see whether that continues. Bit of a lock up at the back. Oh, a wide moment there. And Doohan has lost a couple of places. Might be about to get worse. So it's his teammate ahead. You can see Novelak ahead as Schumacher puts pressure on. And what a brilliant opening lap of the race we see here as they make their way through the fast sweep as a five and six. And Schumacher does have great momentum as he puts the pressure on Hauger. But Hauger staying in the lead as they get their tyres up to temperature. Not the getaway that Doohan wanted. He has dropped down to sixth place as Rasmussen goes around the the outside there of Awasa and they're three wide sorting out the order it's Hauga, Schumacher, Martins, Novelak, Smolia and then do it. Yeah it looked like Crawford who locked up on the inside of turn three and caught the left rear of do it. Colette tries to go all the way around the outside he's had good speed all the way through he's thinking about the audacious one can he get through yes he can he makes it past Logan Sargent and just like his teammate did yesterday, an MP motorsport car gets past, gets through. And what kind of move they can make? Again. Goodness He's me. not going to do it again, is he? Kyle Collette has so much momentum coming out of two, and he can't get it done this time, trying to go past Jack Crawford. But he is so confident in to turn three, but not able to make the move at this stage. That's how he got Sergeant, who's just behind. It's very nearly how he got Crawford ahead. It's a cool deal. Down the inside of Rasmussen. Nice, neat and tidy move from the man who found himself in the gravel trap down at turn one yesterday. Can Martin shape for the move? He's going to try and do it the long way round. Schumacher under pressure to make the corner. He has done so. And he's just interrupting that momentum of the Frenchman off the corner. Now, as we go to Hugenholtz, turn three. Can he shake for the move? No. Schumacher's alive to that, and he takes a slightly later line up the banking. Good defensive driving from Schumacher. After putting the pressure on Hauger, he couldn't get into that DRS window, and now he's looking in his mirrors. Yeah, critically now is well outside the DRS window as Martins. He's got absolutely nowhere to go through seven. Here's Kai Collette taking the place. So Crawford really struggling. The pace is reflecting that and finally making the move. That's been coming for a couple of laps for Kyle Collette. There are plenty trying to follow through as well. The young American driver who has been quick around here. Just looking down the gaps, there are so many moves to be decided here. There are so many drivers with a chance of an overtake and as the laps tick away, that's why we've had so many late safety car periods. The patience runs out and the incidents occur. Let's look further back in the order. This is Juan Manuel Correa sending it around the outside and taking time in Van der Helm. Lovely move around the outside. Carrying on with that battle then. There it is, Schumacher still repelling the attention of Martins. That's Crawford now. And Sargent trying to go around the outside. Crawford can't keep him behind. And the laps of work pay off. One American past another. The yellow flag in sector one. That looks like Nanini. It is indeed Matteo Nanini who has gone off. There is Correa showing how committed you have to be. You just have to stand on the brakes, accept the flat spot that is coming if you're going to make the move at this stage. And Nanini had no road left. 10 second time penalty for forcing Nanini into the gravel. We are into the crucial laps of the race, though. Oh, oh he's sending one to the inside, and they're going to make contact. They do make contact. Through goes Novelak up to second place, and Martens is going to be in trouble for that one. He wasn't prepared to be patient at the end, and Schumacher is out of the race. What the f What is wrong with the f What an idiot. So we talked about the mentality of waiting into the final laps. Third race in a row, we've seen exactly the same thing. Late drama, Martins trying to spring the surprise, didn't have the room, Schumacher into the wall, out of the race, Novelak up to second position, the virtual safety car out. This really came from nowhere. Uh, he, he seemed to be being patient, waiting uh, down into turn one every lap. He knew he wanted to try, you could sense that he wanted to try something different, that he basically given up on the move at Tarzan, but uh, that wasn't even really the closest that he'd been down into Not Turn 3. 
Hi, Dobby. And he knows it. Yeah, yeah, and I think he knows it. A little bit of red mist, perhaps. A little bit of frustration as well. Sitting behind a driver, lap after lap after lap. It's hero or zero stuff, isn't it? And he's got a time penalty. 10 seconds. Yeah, 10 second time penalty for causing that collision. He will have no complaints. He will be hyper frustrated. So we're going to get a late flurry here. You've got to be paying attention. This one isn't over yet. Green flag is out. Hauger, because of where he caught the virtual safety car, is miles clear. Got a yellow flag in sector one. And that's from uh, Correa. Correa once again. And Van der Helm into the barriers on the final lap of the race. And here he is, Dennis Hauger with his fourth win of the Formula 3 season to extend his championship lead and put one hand on the championship trophy. He takes a huge points margin into the final round at Sochi and it's Novelak and Smolia completing the podium. Yes! Yes! Oh my God! Oh, what a relief of the end there. Come on, boys. Oh, well, let's go! He heads to the final round, the championship leader, Dennis Hauger, knows that he has had a huge day in his young career. He takes a relatively large lead into the final three races of the championship, and you never know what can happen. It's another race weekend, it's another new circuit, so it's so, so important for him to have that buffer moving into those final three races of the year. It is going to be the title decider in Sochi. Join us then when Formula 3 returns.